Eastern Europe is the type of place within the context of geography that we refer to as a shatter belt. The shatter belt is an area caught between stronger competing powers. Historically, in Eastern Europe, that was to the east, the Russians and the Russian sphere of influence, and to the west, the Germans and the Austrians. Those two areas, the west and the east, either side of Eastern Europe, from time to time, rolled over the East European countries and swallowed them up. This was partly made possible by the fact that Eastern Europe is a disparate place in terms of ethnicity, language, and culture. And their reactions to those larger, stronger powers were rarely unified. Most significant in terms of commonalities amongst the countries of Eastern Europe is that they were all communist dictatorships in the post-World War II era. If you recall, I told you that the modern Middle East is really the construct of World War I and the aftermath of World War I. Europe, and especially Eastern Europe, is the construct of World War II and the post-World War II era. Let me give you a little reminder of who and where they are. This, of course, is Eastern Europe. Remember, it starts up in the north at the three Baltic states, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, and then continues down through Poland, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, Albania, and then the six countries that came out of the former Yugoslavia, that would be Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia, or Bosnia-Herzegovina, Serbia, Macedonia or North Macedonia, and Montenegro. I'm also going to remind you of, in a nutshell, how World War II went. The Germans expanded outwards. They went to the west, they went to the north, they went to the south. As the war was coming to its conclusion, the Allies pushed them back. From the west, that was the British and the British Empire, which of course would include Canada, Australia, even South Asians, the United States, of course, French forces, and then from the East, the Soviet forces or the Russians. Basically, as the war ended, the way things played out in the post-World War II era was this. Whosever army ended up on your territory at the end of the war, you were going to fall under their influence. The Western part of Europe fell under the influence of the United States and the British. As a result of that, those countries became capitalist and democratic. Eastern Europe fell under the influence of the Soviet Union. And as a result of that, they became communist dictatorships. This is a map of post-World War II Eastern Europe. All of these countries fell under the influence of the Soviet Union. And as a result of that, they became what was commonly known as the Eastern Bloc.